Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? Just wanted to stop by and check in and say, hello, it's wine time for me. I'm setting out back enjoying a fire. First fire pit fire of the season. Even though it's not real cold here in Texas, still getting out here and enjoying my evening patio area. Used to be a wooden deck, we ripped it all up and now I've got semen out here and still trying to figure out if it's a patio, if it's a deck, what am I wanting to call it? Anyhow just trying to slow down a little bit the Christmas season is over even though I don't celebrate Christmas anymore it seemed like it was never ending it was just run 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 project after project things to do around the house work 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 I'm on my off time right now I don't go back to work till January like third or fourth I took an extra day off because I'm gonna try to do a marathon on New Year's Day what am I thinking but so far on my off days, all I've done is constantly work and go and go. And it's not over yet because my son's getting married on Wednesday. And so we've got a whole lot of craziness still ahead of us. So I'm just trying to relax a little tonight. Unwind from what little bit of holiday season we did do. We did go out to lunch, my daughter and I and um, my neighbor, Sherry. She helped me work on a little bit of a project around the house. and just trying to unwind tonight and I'm just hoping that you guys do the same thing take some downtime for yourselves I am the world's worst about just constantly going and going and not stopping the only time I stop is when I end up sick in the hospital or in the bed because I've wore my body out and just run myself down so tonight came home from gathering up materials for my never-ending fence project and I thought, you know what? I'm not doing anything else tonight. I'm pouring a glass of wine. I'm gonna set out by a fire and I'm going to just relax for a little bit. Life is too short and we've got to learn to slow down. I know with the year of the pandemic, a lot of people slowed down then. I really didn't stop much. I did more work in 2020, in the beginning of 2021, than I have done in years past. I mean, I just didn't stop. So I decided 2022, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. I'm gonna start taking time for me. I give and give and give so much of myself that I'm wore out constantly. And I just, I, I need to make that my priority this year, me. Slowing down, taking care of me, and getting my things and my life and everything back on track. I have really been slipping and playing around over the last couple years and I'm not happy where I'm at right now. So tonight I'm doing a lot of self-reflection. Sitting out here thinking, praying, asking God to lead and guide me on where he wants me to go next and what I need to do. Because we're in, we're in some serious times, crazy times and we need guidance so that's what i'm doing tonight i'm enjoying the evening basically home alone my daughter just had surgery and so she's been in bed and haven't seen much of her today but just trying to chill and relax a little bit and i don't think we take enough time for ourselves so i'm not real big about making resolutions in the new year and never really have been because I don't believe in them. I think people just, they, they say they're gonna go, they go, what, go to the gym for the first two or three weeks and crowd the gyms up and pay memberships and then they stop going and they pay for them for years to come and never go back. Eh, not me, been there, done that. <laughs> so this year I really just want to slow down, work on me. Weight loss has always been a top priority no matter what time of year. It doesn't matter if it's New Year's or not. I'm always battling my weight. It's gonna be a thing that I deal with for the rest of my life. So I'm gonna start off the new year with a full marathon. I say that because I don't even know how this is gonna go. I'm not ready, I'm not prepared. I did not train. This is not something I was gonna even embark on this year, but the race I always wanted to do my full marathon at sent out an email about three or four weeks ago saying this is the last year that they're going to hold the texas marathon because the race directors are moving out of the country so i thought well lord this is it 
it's do or die. You always wanted to do one, one marathon, one. And this one has the longest time limit of any other race I've ever seen. It's literally from daylight to dusk. So we're gonna start at eight and we have till 5.30, 6 p.m. that night to finish 26.2 miles. So I'm gonna attempt it. Even at my weight, untrained, psychotic and all, I probably will be crying by mile 18 or 20. I'm gonna attempt it. If I finish, great. If I don't, oh well. And then after that, I've got a few races planned, but the rest of the time I'm gonna be focusing on me, trying to get myself back into shape, whatever shape that is. <laughs> right now it's round and I'm not happy with it. But I need to do better because the last couple years I've not really done well. So that's my reflection tonight. Just thinking about me and where I wanna be in the new year. Like I said, I'm not into New Year's resolutions, but I'm ready for change. I mean, I've, I've been thinking about a lot of things, guys. Not even just weight loss, you know. That's that's a minor thing for me. But, like, big lifestyle changes. Like, I'm thinking about buying some land and getting away from the coastline. I really hate living so close to all these chemical plants. You know, my daughter's had cancer. And she works out in the plants. I really want to get somewhere to where we have whatever little bit of better air quality is but i don't want to go to cold cold climate but i'm thinking about starting to look for some land and maybe start making a homestead so we'll see i've got a lot of things that i've got dreams about but we'll see where it goes well my video sort of got cut off because my dad ended up calling and i didn't get to finish with what i was trying to say and in between time my daughter came out and she's now joining me. Hi. <laughs> but your son's here. And I think my son just pulled up. So I'm not sure how. Yeah, he is here, yeah, he at me. Okay. Go. So I've got company. But long story short, <laughs> to finish my little rant tonight was I'm ready for change, guys. I'm really, really ready for change. Not sure what all that means, but I'm doing a lot of self-reflection and I'm thinking I'm ready for change. I've been here almost 21 years where I'm at and I'm not happy with where I'm at. I'm not happy with the things going on around me. I'm not happy with where I'm living. I'm ready for change. I think I wanna find that small rural town again. You know, I'm in a town of like, 13,000 people, which is not big compared to other cities, but I'm tired of being this close to the coastline. And um, I'm wanting more rural area. My son has now moved to Colorado. He's talking about buying land in Montana, which is way too cold for me to say the least. But, you know, I'm thinking about maybe east or central east Texas. I don't know, but it, it's, it's time for change. Mom is tired of the grind. I'm ready for something new. So, who knows? I might be trying my hand at a homestead. I'm not like a prepper, as they call it, but I'm definitely trying to do more food prep and be more self-sufficient. Look who just walked into my life. Somebody who just runs off and leaves, Mom. And Do you blame me? You have to deal with listening to her talk all the time. All day long. Who are you talking to anyway? I'm making a YouTube video. I know that, but... <laughs> I'm talking to myself right now because only four people listen. I know Zach is out there and probably Corey. That's the only two people that listen to my videos. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make this weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, right. this is the one that's getting married on Wednesday. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm drunk. I know you are. Come here. The good thing is. So tell tell the audience, do you really want to be married? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you believe in marriage? Well, my thing is I've seen your marriage fail four times, so no. I ain't been married four times. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I, I just I just cannot have a normal life because God, crazy adult. <laughs> adult kids. So God love them. God love them. That's all I can say. 
All right, guys, I'm going to call it a night since I've got other things going on right now and didn't get to finish this between all the interruptions tonight. But just wanted to say, hope y'all have a good night. <laughs> it's never ending. <laughs> now I've got more people in my video. Anyways, love you guys. Have a great night. <laughs> the police is here. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye. <laughs>